Disclaimer, this video may contain content that might not be suitable for children. Parental guidance is advised. Thank you. Hello everyone, Yankyu here and welcome back to So Nomad. Last time, ooh, it was a doozy. We were trying to find the last world eater in Orvisca, only to find out that Levin was actually the world eater in another vessel, and he killed Lady Lena. On the bright side, we got Endorphin. And while trying to actually catch everyone up to speed, like, yeah, I tried I tried to level up uh, Juno, I tried, uh, I leveled up Grunsberg, uh, I leveled up Dio. I have this one empty because I don't care much. And then, yeah. Endorf. So yeah, I tried. I I, I actually want to. I level up Endor, and I left it here. So now let's move. Man, it's gonna be hard, t tough to tell tell Trish. I mean, come on. We all know Levin has been crushing on her. Wait a second. That that does got nothing to do with Trisha. Never mind. Trisha doesn't give a damn about Levin. Oh my, Levin, is this real? I mean, he was here with me not too long ago. He what? I never thought that kid could ever pull off something like that. I guess my eye for people is getting lazy. That, or that, and he's a really good actor. Things are getting pretty crazy for you, huh? In the meantime, we've been here digging ditches. Why? The old lady always says, never judge a book by its cover, but I don't think this is what she meant. I'm, yeah, precious. No, actually, I think this is what she meant a little. Is Danette still? Probably still at the grave. Lady Lena was like a mother to her, so it's appropriate. I guess. What about us, though? I mean, she's, she did raise us. Hey kid, shouldn't you be feeling the same way? <laughs> See? Even Gig agrees. No, oh, I'm okay. Gig, you two are fused, right? <laughs> half and half? How does it work with Levin? How the hell should I know? I mean, I didn't even know those World Eater wankers could move their souls. That little bitch Dio must have had something to do with it. I can't believe him. Not only does he use the Crimson Tears, but he uses them to help the enemies of the world! What do we do now? Kill him. Well, Kill Dio. We don't know where Levin went, so we have to go find Dio. Speaking of which, while I was helping the villagers, I heard some rumors about Dio. Ooh, give us juicy details. It seems like Dio's been making preparations for something big. Ah, nothing new there. He's always in preparations for something big. I mean, come on, there's a reason why he bought slaves from Viscas. I mean, West of Wind. We got uh, some news too. We heard our Viscus soldiers talking about it. I wonder how we understand Rock him. Sock him. That's bad. Get your dirty paws off the bench. Hmm? It seems they heard something while they were in training. He's collecting damn crews and tears. No shit, we already knew that. You're making a gate to connect Viscus to. Somewhere. <laughs> you you guys those those guys just talk about that? Hmm. So Dio's collecting crimson tears to open a portal to something. Somewhere that requires the power of multiple jewels. Gee, I wonder where uh, it could lead to Drazel. I don't think we're going to find any answers until we find Dio. Well, it's too late to leave today. We can head out tomorrow. Okay, let's find Dio tomorrow. Well, if you don't mind a little dirt in your hair, you can sleep on the floor. Can't offer much more than that. Hey. Hey. What? Good. They're asleep. No, we're not really asleep because we can actually we hurt you. You dumbass. Hey, kid. Uh, huh? 
That guy, Endorf, he just left. He wants to get revenge for that Sep girl, right? I don't think he has any intention of finding Dio with us. I think he's gonna hunt down that sister-loving man-cow by himself. Really? You have any idea where to find him? He's probably back in the forest. I guess that's where Raksha's body is. We should wake up the others. No, he'll spot us a mile away if we go in a big group. And it'd be morning by the time we got there anyway. So, why did you tell me? It has nothing to do with you. I have to ask that bastard Raksha something. What? None of your business. Just get moving before you lose him. Oh, fine. I've been watching you. I'm impressed. That girl fixed up some of my own machines, and the ref long is strong as any fix. I'm gonna get back firm myself. But what if it just gets destroyed again? Gee, you act like keep acting like that, and obviously you'll never get back to farm ever again. Well, this recon pretty much just spoils everything. 936. Weaker than Fane, but strong, way stronger than Thurus. <laughs> so, yeah. Pretty obvious. He got back his body. I mean... Also, man, look at that amount of gig points. I never know- I didn't notice until now. Oh, right. Okay, you guys said it. Okay. Alright, let's go. <laughs> I knew you'd come. Well, yeah. Levin, no. Raksha. I know I can't bring her back, but I will have my revenge. <laughs> Go ahead and try. But you can just call me Levin as long as I'm in this body. There's no reason to be uncivil. Uh, right. No, how about we just call you Rush? You're dead! Draw! So, revenge, huh? She wouldn't have understood, you know. I mean, she was just a puppet. She was no puppet! She was a kind woman who loved her brother more than anything in the world! <laughs> exactly. That's how she was designed. Designed? You think she didn't suffer? You think she wasn't in pain? Those tears I saw weren't designed! <laughs> If you loved her so much, stop barking and go play with your dolls. It's perfect for a little girl like you. Uh, man. Levin, you're... Uh, Levin's... Raksha's a douche. Insult me all you want. But if the word doll passes your lips again, so help me. God, I will rip them off. I was gonna say doll again just because you said that now. You do realize that he's been trolling all this while, right? Alright, that's what I want to hear. But remember, I'm no doll. So it won't be so easy. God damn it. <laughs> you son of a bitch! <laughs> oh, Levin. <laughs> Thankfully, Levin did it. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, it's definitely not bra uh, made out of brass, but you definitely got some metal balls. <laughs> no, I was careless. You lie so badly. It hurts. I don't want to die. I'm not ready yet, sis. Just kidding. Euphoria. You can rest at ease now. Oh, please. You think it would really be that easy? You think you learned by now? You should know, considering what happened. It's not that easy. <laughs> not quite yet, she can't. <sighs> 
pain in the ass. It's Raksha. Ha. Back to your old self, huh? You're uglier than I remember. Oh, I've been cooped up in that tiny shell for ten years. It feels damn good to be out again. You know, if you actually saw Raksha, uh, for you, one for the fact that the dream actually, you know, uh, cult, uh, shadowed uh, all their sprites, you wouldn't be able to tell that, uh, you wouldn't be able to tell, the, uh, notice the similarities between Levin and Raksha, they're both. So you spent all that time in there and now you just throw it away? What a waste. So, Raksha, what are you planning to do about Drazil? I mean, even if you kill everyone here, I don't think he's just gonna let you do whatever you want. <laughs> what a stupid question. I worked that all out forever ago. I'm not like a certain someone that's stuck bunking with a dopey human. You snotty piece of shit. Oh, get over yourself. You know, you love to talk big, but you're pathetic. You blindly follow Drizzle's every whim, and when you finally lose, you become a tool of virtuous. And you had the nerve to call yourself a master of death in your last life. <laughs> I pity you, Dig. Oh, man. He pressed the pity button. I have never wanted to murder someone harder than I do right now. Hey, kid. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh no! I'm so scared! Do your worst! But when it's all over, you'll be nothing but a bad, fading memory. <laughs> Levin! Levin, is that really you? <laughs> Trish! Trish! Ah, uh, the way you get nervous. It is you, Levin. Uh, what are you doing here? You should be asleep. I happen to see a couple mice sneak out of Mr. Van Gogh's house. I haven't been sleeping well lately. Yeah, this really shows that not everything is an act. It's because of Hawthorne and Shauna, isn't it? You should just forget about that crap. Listen, I'm about to drench this place in blood. A little rich girl like you doesn't belong here, so go away! Man, this, this really like Skitty on Will Lord. Or rather, Will Lord and Skitty. <laughs> My, such consideration. Only Levin would care so much. Please, Levin, can't you stop this? This blockhead stuff? Call me whatever you want. I'm not nice, okay? Yeah, don't uh, don't call me Levin, you meanie. Mm, I'll 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 pull out the flowers in your garden and dig holes in your front yard if you don't stop calling me that. I'll ding dong ditch you every night. <laughs> I mean, that's how he's acting. Burned out Thurus. Oh, I'm so scared. We're so scared. How did he actually reach that far? It's amazing, actually. Damn, uh. this one's got some attitude. <laughs> See what happens? Some city just got blown away. Yes, the empty city, filled with Thurus cult members. Unrepentant. Thurus cult members, even if they are, if if they are there, which I doubt they are, but if they even if they are, it wouldn't matter. I'm too scared. Get out of here. Because you know they're not really good people. I won't leave. I'm not afraid of you, Levin. Damn it! <laughs> Lord Raksha, why are you having such trouble with these weaklings? I know I was told not to interfere, but you clearly need some help. 
the hell? Where's his voice coming from? Uh, what? My, my body! Trish! Don't worry. I just moved her somewhere safe. You can summon her later. But we were at a stalemate there. Was that really necessary? Yeah, because considering the... <laughs> but thanks, I guess. Girls like that just get on my nerves. Oh, you lie so badly. Now leave the rest to me! Here we go! So, endure four rounds. <laughs> Pretty much, you can just literally just stay there and do nothing. Because, you know, he's like... He's really, really strong. Look at that. We're not strong enough uh, to deal with that. But why am I so weak? I'm pretty sure I'm a lot stronger than this. But yeah, uh, uh, we're we're not even half his stats. <laughs> his potential is 11 million. We're only 14,000. So yeah, we're not gonna be able to do anything. So endure four rounds. Sure, we can do that. It's one round. <laughs> this just isn't cutting it. Oh, he's going to... <sighs> <laughs> you know what this is? That's the hag soul! Lady Lena? How do you have that? <laughs> You've seen how this works, right? This is what the world eaters were meant to eat. Her Russia is basically a mecca. Like a giant re- I'm sure her soul is chock full of vital minerals and nutrients. Order now for a cheap co e four easy payments of $9.99. Call now and you can get another free virtuous free virtuous soul. I don't know how to do infomercials. Come to Papa. Oh, you ate her. Lady Elena. He he ate her. <laughs> Damn that feels good. Now come and play. And now he's still strong. What difference would that be? Okay, got your terror. The hem of all of an angel destroys the enemy. Got your terror. At the bottom of all the world's hatred, Genesis. Their enemy shall know true pain just before death. Ten percent of stamina recovered at the start of round. Why would you have this? You you have unlimited stamina. You don't need this. Okay, this I can understand. This I can understand. This I do not. Yeah. Well, so much for that. Oh. Wait, shoot, I forgot about that. Huh. Damn it, he's too strong. Has the time come to use it? <laughs> How did you humans ever survive so long with those soft, flabby balls of flesh? I said I forgot he would do that, unlike Thoris. Or Fane, he has long range attacks. Yeah, his arm can actually detach! <laughs> he always was the toughest one to crack. Fane was, yeah, you know, she's reluctant to actually attack. Thoris, he's weak as shit, so you can't really do much. Rock Shadow, what you gonna ask me? What, to give me your body? Well, you'd never agree, so why bother? 
<laughs> you two aren't even totally fused. How could you ever hope to stand against me? You know, if they are, you actually die, right? You know, if you'd just eaten the soul from the start, you'd be able to fight all out like me. Oh, believe me, he has. And it's definitely not from lack of trying. <laughs> so, Levin's soul. <laughs> Have you ever tried the soul of an eight-year-old boy? It's delicious. Uh, kind of impossible for them, because you know, they don't have the ability to do that. You monster! Mm. Do we really have a taste? What souls? Ha! <laughs> They're not nearly as good as those hot pods. <laughs> You know, you know, you think about it. The fact that she actually asked that is just hilarious. It's like, but do they, do they really have a taste? I mean, no. Eat your, your souls. I'm kind of curious now. I want to taste that. I'm hungry. Let me go get a bite to eat. But listen, we'll be fine if you can just grab a hold and use my power. So move it already. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? I love a squabble. Come on, Gig. Have a little taste. Abomination! Stop right there! Who's there? Don't get in the way! <laughs> oh, it's everyone from the village. Gramps! Yeah. It's been a while. We were all the way back where we couldn't actually, you know, uh, uh dominate. Uh, that one person who's actually from the village? Yeah, this is why. You look different. How? We left shortly after Lady Lena. We realized her presence had finally disappeared, but we didn't have time to mope. Hmm, you're still having trouble, huh? I guess Lady Lena never told you. Not like she actually had time to do so, she's gonna die pretty fast. So that's what? When two worlds come together as one, total fusion can be achieved. Oh. Aha! Uh -huh. Now I get it. With my power, we can fracture his entire shell in one shot. Actually, with your power, you actually destroy him in one shot. Once it's cracked, he's as good as dead. Even regular attacks can hurt him then. I'm thinking this is a short burst, so I guess it's not enough. But why didn't the hag tell us about that in the first place? Unless your wills are acting as one, it's impossible. It's not something you can just decide to do. And even if you pull it off, it's dangerous. It'll further solidify your fusion. You'll only have one chance at it. Any more than that, and you're likely to destroy your own body. Let's try. Hey, that was quick! Soulmate. <laughs> okay then, let's do it! So, what do we do? Just let your souls come into contact. Hug! Do the fusion dance! Holding the same thought in both your minds, turn your energy toward the final world, Eater. Same thought? You mean just think of the same thing? So, uh, what do you want to think about? So, here is where your relationship value comes, uh, comes in. If, uh, picking your ass is grass, uh, just, you know, is basically a neutral response, I think. Uh, saying show me the hot pots will increase your relationship value gig this two will always appear but the last one it shows uh, is the option that shows up on whoever has the highest relationship value with you if you have your highest relationship value is with gig then this third option will never there's no third option you'll just have these two so these two will always appear well this Third one will appear for your high for your currently highest relationship, and because I kept using Holy Justice, I got the net. I actually wanted to get Endor for a reason uh, uh, when I was actually training, but I guess it wasn't enough. Eh, maybe next time. So yeah, so you put show me the hot pause 
you'll get gay. You can click net. I think it locks you in the the net ending. We'll take the net. Hey, come on! How's that supposed to get me going? Okay, well, if that's what you really want, I don't get it though. Come on! Woo! <laughs> the net! Bing. <laughs> See, I told you that was no good. Let's just go with your ass is grass, okay? Fine. Your ass is grass it is. <laughs> Good enough. Alright, kid. Get ready. <laughs> Woo! Your ass is grass! <laughs> so, I think that locks me in the net ending because I do not actually know the... Complete specifics on <laughs> What was that? It felt like a tiny little fly, or maybe a small gust of wind. <laughs> well, that happened. What? My body? My body is melting. <laughs> That's right. Mm, well done. We might not be as strong as you, but whatever power we have is yours. Let's dominate the vulgars. Yep, it's a story purpose. That's why they cannot be dominated. Damn it! All of you die! They cannot be dominated whenever you want. Not as strong as you, they say. You're level 25. Wow, I guess, yeah, that makes sense. Then again, he's level 36, so, uh, he's pretty, plenty, plenty strong. So, yeah, uh, I'm not so sure if it will actually lock you, uh, into that ending if you actually pick the term options, but it, I'm very certain that it increases the relationship value to that one character because it's the highest. So yeah, I picked the net, so that means we're pretty much guaranteed for the, the net yeah. ending. Okay, whatever. What? Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna keep walking around for a bit. Hmm, yeah. guess who I heard. Fist crush. Rocket punch. And it's not yeah. enough to kill. Him. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Why are their hair colors different? What? Wait! Why? Why are your hair colors different? It wasn't even different on, when, on my side. Let alone. Weird. So weird. I will. See ya! Walking around. Yeah, I wouldn't use uh, uh, Demon Blast or whatever to get him. By the way, that will also work for Levin. Yes, that's right. Levin also has. Uh, left, even though, you know, it's a world year or something, uh, they never actually explain. Excuse me. But Levin also has an ending, his own ending, and he does come back in the ending. It's just never explained how. No, e even the ending itself has no idea how that happened. Ooh, you managed to 
kill them. Wow, so scary. Man. I'm so terrified. Uh, no. Just die. Let's do this! As for why I want to actually uh, raise, uh, raise my relationship value with Edward, uh, well, because he's he's so look at him, he's so goddamn cool. And look at that, that look at that. Holy shit, that's awesome. No one can deny that that's awesome. <laughs> I mean, you can, but uh, if you do deny it, then you have a really high standard for what's awesome. Oh, will you stop using this crush? How many times are you going to use it? Hmm, hurt. But yeah, there's actually another reason why I want to have Endor. Uh, which will actually occur after this cutscene. Uh, why? It was my destiny to become a god! How can you- Sh Shut up! I don't care! It's too late to beg! This is for you, Euphoria! Uh, wait! Look! You seriously stop? Euphoria! I used Dio's soul retrieval and resurrection magic to bring her back! If you care for her at all, don't move! Stay your wrath and I'll spare her! <sighs> That's right, little doggy. Stand right there. <sighs> <laughs> okay, little Euphoria. You're alive again. Go! Be free! Just kidding! <laughs> you can't free a soul that doesn't even exist! This is just a worthless dirt doll! But then, so was the original. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> That's a real cheap trick. See? Without a soul destroying it is a snap! Ta-da! And my next trick, I'll pull a rabbit out of a hat! You know why? Because it was never alive to begin with. Do you understand yet? So... There is actually a difference in, the, uh, in this little scene. No, Euphoria is alive. Her fire is not so easily extinguished. Burning soul, awaken the sleeping beast. The power of truth, Psycho Burgundy. Oh man, that's Walnut's team, and this. <laughs> So in Fender Brave, uh, that chant wasn't in, uh, in Fender Brave because they actually took way too much creative liberties for it. For example, Ash, uh, he's supposed to actually have something called uh, Rise of the Water Dragon or something. But they changed it to I, uh, 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 something, uh, what was it again? Uh, Uh, for her sake, I won't. Uh, I will not fail, which made no sense. I've already died once before. Even the Black Reaper is sick of me. But this, 
uh, Endorf, this, uh, no, Endorf's chant, yeah, that's uh, closer to your original ch- chant for Psycho Burgundy. <laughs> what are you talking about? Gigs the Black Reaper around here. You don't understand anything. You have no concept of the world around you. So let me show you. Witness a power that transcends all worldly laws. Burning soul, awaken the sleeping beast. The power of truth, Psycho Burgundy. Oh man, this is such a cool move. And it just blows him up. Now you want to go to the arrange menu. Andorf is no longer there. Yes, Andorf is no longer there. So, think. Here's the thing: if Levin, if uh, either Levin or Andorf, you have a high relationship with them, and then you actually shout out their name uh, at a later point in the game, you get their mannequin back. But if you don't have uh, a high relationship with them, uh, you don't get their uh, their mannequins are gone for the rest of the playthrough. For this current cycle, you have to go through a new game plus to actually try and get them again. So yeah, which is pretty annoying, and even more annoying. In order to get a high relationship value with Endorf, uh, you can actually you know go, uh, talk to him during uh, during his one scene and then and then go to an inspection and then spam spam his uh spam his, uh his combo attack with uh with Rava over and over until you know you uh you feel like you're you're comfortable with it. Also Kotaro there it is I actually mentioned it in the previous yeah apparently he doesn't have uh an original sprite but he does have an original portrait look at that He's actually pretty strong. You always start off uh, on a higher level than your uh, uh, than your height strongest character. Leader. Then no, he's just here might as well. So yeah, that's that. I guess. Why didn't I? Man, I like you. We dominate those villagers, but they are not even here. Freaking heck. <laughs> um. There we go. Okay. Not like it really matters. So, anyway, uh, I said. Uh, I actually mentioned it, but if you actually have a high relationship value with Levin and, and, uh, or Andor. Uh, that one cutscene was actually different, and uh, Euphoria turns out to be actually be alive. Yeah, she actually is alive. Yeah, Raksha was lying through his teeth the entire time. Levin. That's why I didn't actually take uh, Euphoria's death seriously because I know that she's not dead. So you don't have any idea if Endor survived. There was just Crater left. I've never seen a human use an attack like that. He'd need a miracle to survive something that big. Well, he survived the first time, so... But... Master Endorf can't be dead. I bet he's just, you know, buried six feet under or something. Uh, that's just another way of saying he's dead, genius. That attack was really big. Hey, you're pretty tough. You were closer to the blast than anyone. You don't even have a scratch on you. Y'all are just amazing. <laughs> I still don't believe you actually killed a world eater. Hopefully that'll put our queen and country more at ease. Thanks. You're very welcome. You didn't even do anything. Where'd those villagers go who were helping you before? Oh, those old farts hurt their backs, so they went back to the next <coughs> They really pushed themselves hard. Excuse me. It's probably for the best. Guys their age shouldn't be out trying to save the world. Is that really coming from you? You look older than all of them! 
more earthquakes. The transfer of souls still aren't, still isn't over yet. Oh dear, another earthquake. The world eaters are all gone, but the land still trembles. There's actually another reason for that. If we can get those souls back. Lady Lena mentioned something about the Lord of another world or something. Oh yeah! We gotta go rough up those annoying ass masters of life and death in Drazil. That's all well and good, but how do we even get there? Lady Lena's the only one who could have helped us. <laughs> no worries, big man. I've got it all figured out. Yeah, Dio is opening a portal to, to, to Drazil. We all already know this. That eagle maniac Dio is probably trying to open a pathway into Drazil. Yep. You have, uh, you even, uh, if you have two brain cells, you actually figure that one, let the rub together to figure that one out. No offense, <laughs> sorry. Huh? Are you talking about that gate they're using the Crimson Tears to open? No, 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 we're talking about something else. That's the one. I never thought a human could know as much as he seems to. We can't underestimate him anymore. It doesn't surprise me now that he would know about the other world. Besides, I have some pressing business with these Drazil folks myself. But first things first, we gotta talk to Dio again. Let's go see your Visca. So now Old Visca doesn't have any reason to raise taxes or take your things, right? Then I suppose I can go with you without worrying about everyone here. Hey, thanks for your help. That extra elbow grease really helped us out. And the old lady's feeling better, so... We should be fine now. Thanks again, y'all. See ya, Van Gogh. Take care. Let's leave before he actually comes. Uh, before he faults us. Oh man, I'm over level 100. 101. You know, this just means I don't actually have to train that much. Okay, let's see. Kick at it. Can we buy anything right now? You know, I think I'm not gonna. Actually, I'm just gonna buy Vacation and uh, Strengthen and that's it. Uh, so there isn't much to actually buy. What other decors can I buy? Mm, no. Ooh. Hmm. We'll go buy some of these. Good news. No. Leaving now. Any special skills which we turned. Uh, what else is there? Creation loss. No, I don't want this. This is useless. Reanimation. Oh yes, let's take that. All right, let's design. Put the course for this. We need to use uh, use them because nah, they will just go to waste. Because after this, I'm never ever using the cores ever again. Okay, let's go. <laughs> yeah, after this, uh, what, uh, this. We've been awaiting your arrival, mighty savior. Please, this way. Because after this, uh, after this, uh, play playthrough, the only decors I'll be using is for the inspection. After that, there is no reason to use the cores ever again. And that's because I, uh, and the only reason I'm using the course for uh, inspections is because I need, uh, need, need them for power leveling. Mighty savior. Oh yes, you're amazing. We never thought anyone would manage to kill the world eater, but you did it. Wyatt, what a go-getter! <laughs> Seriously. The queen and everyone is overjoyed at what you've done for us. Oh my gosh, you, you, can you be any faker? What else can we call you but our savior? <laughs> Savior, I like the sound of that. You didn't do anything, Moody. Say, if you want my autograph, I'd be happy to oblige. We're glad you're here. Now please follow me. Uh oh, we can all come. So I have been informed. Yes. Why See? is everyone so friendly all of a sudden? Yeah. Huh. We were ready for a fight. I don't think anyone was prepared for a parade. Yeah. Something's rotten here. Everyone, run! Too late. Ha! <laughs> Too late. See? Damn it, bastards! They put a spell on the whole castle. 
It feels like something's sticking to me. Hey, are you okay? I can't move. Uh, a binding? Mm, break! 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 It's no use. It's no use! How do you like my little spell? I hate Dio, it. How could you do this to your own flesh and blood? <laughs> the more you struggle, the tighter your chains are pulled. You're supposed to be a wise magician, but you're just a, a horrible man. You, you tricked us. That's just mean. <laughs> you silly young girl. In no way did I trick you. I laid my net before you and you walked right into it. That's called trekking, you dumbass. You should really pay more attention to where your hooven feet lead you. Racist dumbass. <sighs> but I must admit, I never thought Raksha would fail so miserably. I didn't take that unique man into consideration. So, Dio, what do you plan to do with us? Hmm. I haven't quite decided yet. But we're causing a scene here. Let's move to a more quiet locale. A crimson tear. What? Why can I see through myself? Uh, because he used the crimson tear to turn you into a ghost. Or he teleported us. That that works too. That was a teleportation spell, Dio. How did you learn that? Odi, did you forget that your your family is filled with really powerful magicians? And you don't know the secrets? Our family has known this spell for well over 200 years. Not that you would know anything about it. See? But I really shouldn't waste these jewels. Those that Thurus collected are finally proving their worth. Ah, I was right. Those were Thurus. Oof. What are you planning to do? Nothing less than the complete reunification of the world. Every man, woman, and child ruled by a single sovereign king. You? Huh, you sound exactly like that abomination we just killed. But that means you two should have been enemies, and yet you work together. Excuse me if I sound skeptical. No, his goals were not at all the same as mine. Raksha wanted to become a god so that nobody could tell him what to do. He wasn't interested in ruling others. So, basically he's been a spoiled brat. But I am different. With the hands of the great conqueror, we shall once again grasp the reins of history. Great Cocker? We? You? He? She? Me? Ah, that's right. You have not been formally introduced. But surely you've heard tales of the Blazing Swordsman. Gestal is just a temporary label until he completes his revival. Truly, he is Lord Median the Conqueror. Yeah, this is actually, uh... This was actually quite uh, a bit of a surprise because I wasn't paying attention to, uh, when I first played the game. But if you were paying attention, like you know, I actually played those things about how Median seems to have the similar character portrait to uh, Gustal and, and all that. Yeah. Now you know why. Median. God, do I hate that name. You mean he's still alive? But that's. That's impossible! And we're his child! Wait, that means we can order you around who we want to! He died 200 years ago, along with his child. This is well-known history. Uh... And although history gets warped and legends changed over the years, this is just too much. Uh, two, 200 years ago? We're 200 years old?! Shit! Ignorant fools. How arrogant of you to judge reality based on your own pitiful experience. This coming from you. Yes. 
History is warped and legends are born. But what I say about the Conqueror is the truth. Lord Median has been killed once by Lady Virtuous, master of li life herself, no less. Are you serious? Wow. Guided by his memory of the divine, he pursued immortality. He was told he could have it for a price. He was tasked with killing the master of death, which he did. But immediately after, Virtuous killed him in return. Gig, a dream. Forget it, doesn't matter. So, wait, you're telling us he died? Then came back to life? Oh man, oh man, her parent, oh, her mother, uh, as no longer stealing her memory actually made her smarter. So he's a zombie? Look, she even, she even remembers the word zombie. He must have used the spell of soul retrieval. But to use that on a human? That is expressly forbidden. A worthless failed wizard is trying to lecture me. Nothing in this world is forbidden. Your taboos are simply an attempt to control others through meaningless morals. Common people are bound to these rules only through their fear of retribution. But the king has no such fear. He has only the duty to guide those who have lost their way. And who better to right our faltering world than he? Who united us once before, Lord Median, the Conqueror! Your words certainly are attractive, but for some reason, it all sounds horribly wrong. Maybe I am a dropout, a quitter, but I am no fool. I refuse your notion of a perfect world. To revive such a powerful soul, many other souls must be sacrificed, and many crimson tears must be shattered. And that is unforgivable for someone in your position. You, better than any, should understand the value of life. <laughs> Still you misunderstand the path of true greatness. On the journey to enlighten the world. You cannot cower before the sacrifices that inevitably must be made. Oh man, not again. It's not one of those speeches. Ooh. Even you insignificant specks must understand that much. Yes, yes, sacrifices must be made, blah 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 blah. That's we've heard that speech a billion times. And while I do agree that sometimes, no matter what you do, uh, sometimes, actually most of the time, no matter what what happens if you actually do want something good uh, want to better something you sacrifices must be made no matter what it could be made it could be uh, something small it could be something really big but regardless something will always be sacrificed <laughs> however what he's doing is just really really selfish <laughs> insignificant specs <laughs> what are you going to do? I told you, I will unify the world. I don't know why Gig laughed in the part. I, I, I never understood. I think it's because he's, yeah, he was like, "Do you just refer me as an insignificant speck?" <laughs> I think he's pissed. Of course, that can happen only after we harvest all the souls from Brazil. <sighs> Lady Lena warned us of this. Even as a mortal, you've somehow pulled back the curtain on the universe. Like, like I told you, your human standards have no bearing on my reality. Really? Seriously? <laughs> Still, I was right. You're trying to get into Brazil, huh? Hmm. That plan was executed when I first revived Raksha. Oh, there it is. Ah, so there's the entrance. Lord Median will soon walk amongst the living. But first, he must visit the Masters of Life and Death in Brazil. 
Then he shall conquer time itself and rule this world for all eternity. And with Raksha gone, perhaps Lord Median could even become a god unto himself. Nope, he failed that. But then, having this Master of Death wannabe hanging around could be something of an annoyance. <laughs> oh boy, he should not have said that. <laughs> he definitely should not have said that. Hey, you wanna talk shit, num nuts? Oh, this, this is Gig's ultimate team. You hear this? Yeah! <laughs> I'm gonna let it go on for a bit. Yeah! See, this, when this plays, well, let's just say whoever, whoever gig is facing, they're not gonna survive. They they might as well have written a whale already. Then say it to my face. What? My spell broken and destroyed. <laughs> so what was that about a master of death wannabe? You really thought you could tie me up with that half-assed magic of yours? You got a bad attitude, you know that? I think someone needs to straighten you out. Hey kid, why don't we show him who's boss? Remember, you owe me one. What do you say? You ready to take out the trash? Let's go. Uh, Yavis, Aaron, to me! Damn. They look fierce. Master Dio, we're here to help. Oh, you're gonna, you wanna help him? Okay, your funeral. <laughs> Cause I don't think anybody a gig is gonna appreciate anyone getting in his way. Not so fast. Oh yeah, he wasn't around. I actually forgot about him. Vitaly! How did you Oh, I weaseled my way in quite a while ago. I was somewhat surprised nobody noticed. Yeah, I actually kind of forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> you really get off on sneaking around like that, huh? Once we find the entrance to Drazil, we won't need this maggot anymore. I kicked your family's ass two centuries ago, and I can't wait to do it again. You really should have called him <laughs> it was Master of Death Wannabe. Yeah, wrong wrong choice of words. So yeah, we can't fight Dio right now because we kind of actually have to move like, halfway there. But we gotta kill his pets, and that's second best, I guess. All right, last that. Now, just in case, I'm gonna summon team right here. I swear on my sword. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just leave the team right here, you know, just just in case he actually did the opening thing. Now reinforcement. I seem to remember that this map has reinforcement. If not, it will be the uh, it will be the next one. So you want to pick a fight with me, huh? Die, James Cameron. Wait, isn't she supposed to troll a knife? Oh wait, that's only in the last part. Right? Come on. Uh, no, no, no. Yes. Ah, it is. Knife troll. Okay, so I was wrong. Man, this music is awesome. Oh, you killed my sorcerer. Damn it. And you miss. How could you miss? Yeah. 
Uh, I'm just waiting for reinforcements to come. And I'm actually having a problem. Hey, I, I can feel it. I keep feeling sleepy no matter what I do. I mean, I, I keep going. I try going to bed early. I try. I drink coffee. No dice. I still feel sleepy. I think I have a problem. Not getting any younger. <laughs> You hurt my dogs. Whoa, thanks. You guys will now pay for that. Oh boy, this is gonna take a while. So back to what I was saying before. Yeah, so so since we're going to Brazil, in Brazil you actually uh, they would actually if you actually talk to an NPC, I think because I actually forgot it's been a while, but you actually but you will if you are relationship values with Levin or or Andor is high enough, you will actually. You will actually uh, regain their mannequin once you arrive in uh, Brazil. Uh, in which you then can be using that. I think that's how it works, but yeah, I can't. I can't remember entirely. Which I find a little bit annoying because you know. We have to play, we can't use Endorph 11 against Dio. This is a shame. Ha ha ha! The net is immune to fire. Reinforcement? No reinforcements? Oh, I remember reinforcements coming up from there, too. Mm. Your puny arrows aren't going to work on the net. She's immune. I can't wait to unlock the Gideons. Because once you have them, just just having a single Gideon is more than enough to actually just absolutely destroy uh, anything that gets in your way. Well, oh, I don't want to actually deal with you guys, so. Bye! Oh, distant omen. I, I, I that that increases their range by what? That explains it. Because my range is actually high enough to actually not do uh, to actually you know retaliate. But because they're plus one, also I can't. Oh, by the way, uh, gig. Uh, the net is the easiest to uh, raise a relationship value with because you know she's in your party the whole time. She's always been in your party, and a lot of the conversations, uh, a lot of the co uh, conversation choices, uh, involve the net in some uh, some way. So yeah, she's the easiest. Uh, Gig is the second easiest, mostly because you know. You just have to keep using Demon Blast over and over and over. Technically, Gage is the easiest, uh, the easiest, but 
Uh, that's only if you actually uh, keep using Deep Splash. And the, only, the reason why it doesn't really work is because uh, Demon Blast. They, apparently, the battle switch actually takes account. Unless you keep spamming Demon Blast, you're not going to actually get uh, your the relationship values doesn't increase that much. At least I think so. I seem to remember that uh, I actually had to spam Demon Blast like 25 times. Uh. Before I, uh, before I could actually get the gig scan. As opposed to the net, who only had to... Uh, I only had to use like like five times. And bear in mind, I actually uh, kept using... Uh, I actually uh, picked gig's choices. Uh, yeah, uh, gig's option. And it's, it's actually a little bit harder than that. I literally have to just stop, uh, stop putting anyone in, uh, in the same squad as Reva in order to be able to get Gig's ending. Because, because you, if you use anyone else's uh, combo skill, yeah, combo special, and you will actually end, uh, you will actually end up with them instead. Yes, Gig's. Uh, progression level uh, when you use this skill is actually very very low very very slow unlike the others then again it makes sense you ha you can have like a, a lot of um, demon blasts because because uh, that's Raver special but you can only have one unless you equip you know certain decor decors to actually increase the amount of skills and specials you can use uh, you only be able to use uh, use them once. Every, uh, Demon Blast, you can use as many times as you want so long as you level it up. So, yeah, makes sense. It probably made it easier so you can actually get the other characters' endings. But at the same time, if you actually, you, know, you actually just use Demon Blast and no, nobody, nothing else, you will just you you actually end up with uh, uh, you just end up with King's ending. More so if you actually choose King's option. But doesn't really matter because right now we are onwards to the Nat's ending. So because I kept using Holy Justice. And I use it again in this round, in this, in this battle. Ooh, you're just gonna actually attack me, huh? I must warn you! I hate you! That's the warning I'm giving you. Why are you healing them? They, are, they, don't, they don't have... Ugh. I hate these things. I hate witches. Why do you keep missing? Seriously! Eh. Whatever. I heard die. I don't care. I heard die. Okay, I need to use a kid now. Those. Here. Gotta wait. So for this battle, you have to kill everyone. Excuse me, kill everyone. Some battles require you to just kill only one, one uh, a specific uh, unit, uh, a specific squad, not a unit because you know everybody needs a squad. But yeah, it requires you to attack a specific unit. I said unit again, specific squad. But here, you kind of have to kill everyone. Everything. Well, most of the time, it's just kill everything. Which can be a bit slow. 
Mostly because I uh, <laughs> I didn't really summon a lot of my units. And a lot of my squads. It just kind of, you know, just... It normally takes uh, quite a while for me because uh, at this point, well, nothing can really hurt me. Can be quite a pain. Demon Fang. Pretty sure this that that, that move is, is a reference to Demon Fang from the Tales of series. I'd be shocked if it isn't. There's not many games actually. Uh, well, I can, I can't really think of uh, any. Not many games actually have you know. Uh, swing a sword and then have uh, a, a pro projectile attack that's on the floor and flying towards you. Uh, uh, toward, uh, yeah, towards, towards something as an attack. I don't know why you guys even bother. I seriously don't. Oh well. Seriously? <laughs> Seriously? You attack everyone but the leader. <sighs> That's so dumb. That is seriously dumb. Did I, did I forget to actually change the leader for that, that squad again? Ah yes, I did. I'm an idiot. Good to know that some things never change. Adorable, they just attack us. Demon Fang! <laughs> if there are uh, other uh, games that actually do have uh, a sword swing projectile attack uh, similar to that, to what the knight is actually doing, it has to be similar. It can't be a sword beam. Can't be. I know uh, there are plenty of games that have that nowadays. It has to be. Has to be that specific, uh, this specific uh, type of attack. If there are, uh, is there, if there's any, uh, anything, anime or anime manga, or video games, if there's anything like that, uh, just uh, write that down in the comments. I'm actually curious. So another thing of note, um, I said before, if you actually have a high enough uh, rela relationship with... Hold on, let's see this. Oh! Oh! Oh, damn! Shit! <laughs> if... <laughs> That was awesome. If you have a high relationship value with Eleven and or the cutscene uh, where you know and uh, Raksha used Euphoria as uh, as bait, you know, to get Endor to stop attacking him. Uh, yeah, it actually just turns out that Euphoria isn't dead. She was faking it the entire time. Die. Yeah, she was faking in the entire. She was faking the entire time under Levin's orders, of course. And after, you know, uh, yeah, the same thing will still happen. And Dorf would just use his psycho burglary on Raksha, but Euphoria would just uh, was teleported away by. Dio into a safe place and just kind of have to find her after that. But, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I know I 
actually make, uh, actually sort of spoil the fact that Levin and Endorf are actually alive. Well, thank, uh, well, we're not sure if they're alive in this quote-unquote uh, timeline, but they are alive and you actually got their end, regardless of who it is. Because they just, you know, sort of survive. Because, you know, you get the merit and all that. And it's actually not that much of a spoiler, uh, unless it's your first time playing through this game. If it's your first time playing through this game, then yeah, this actually kind of is, uh, is sort of a spoiler. Because you do know that there's multiple endings and such. But if you actually know that there's multiple endings, you uh, you immediately... Uh, that means after your first playthrough, and then you found out that there's multiple endings, then you realize that... Yeah! Endor for Levin would actually, uh, are, uh, actually alive because you can get an ending for for them, as you know you actually have a, a combo s uh, special uh, with them. Actually, uh, if you get Levin's and uh, Levin's ma mannequin, you, you know your en route to Levin's Levin's ending. Then it's kind of already spoiled for you because you know. You get left as mannequin. Oh man, that's one sturdy witch. Oh, oh man. Bye, Yavis. You're dead. Good, nice knowing you. Oh, well, there was the reinforcement, so there's that. Go! There. Yeah, those Sphinx are gonna actually kill them, so... Doesn't matter! <laughs> Rotten hell. I really can't wait for New Game Plus. Gideons are like, oh my god, I've said this so many times. Gideons are like crazy powerful. Just having one, a, sing, a, a, a squad with a single Gideon, and you just place them, uh, place them anywhere, whether it's the front, middle, or rear row. They're gonna actually absolutely destroy the enemies. You gotta be freaking kidding me. Okay, uh. time to get rid of this archer group. Just gonna use Demon Blast because I really want to get rid of them. Keep it coming. By the way, this is the last arc. We are nearing the end of the game. Once we hit the Brazil, that's the that's the absolute final end, final end. We actually have to just go through a few more maps. Yeah. And I'm just we're gonna just come out and say it. A 
Because at this point, I'm already spoiling so many things. Who cares? It, it, who cares anymore? Not like it's that much of a spoiler anyway. I'm actually surprised that, uh, because I remember that there, uh, the enemies were a lot higher levels than, you know, 30 and such. I seem to remember that when, uh, when I'm fighting Raksha, he'd be like level, level, level 50? No, no, level, level, level 70 or 80 uh, at that point. Better than uh, level 36. And the other enemies be level 25. What the hell? Why are they level 25? I, I just remember they were like level 70, 60, 70. They're not as strong as the world leader. The world leader is like that's crazy OP, so it makes sense that them they actually be so strong. But come on, these guys! They're only level 25. They're strong enough to kill thirds by themselves. Why didn't they attack Taurus by themselves? They're strong enough to do that. They're level 25. So, anyway, yeah. Yeah. I actually didn't mention this at all in any of the videos, but. There's actually uh, a variety of special specials that you can actually get if you uh, you have certain types of units and uh, place them in specific specific spots. Something which the game never tells you about. And even I I don't know uh, all of them. I do know that uh, these. Story uh, units that you get, you know, like uh, the net, uh, Odie, Trisha, etc. You actually have them on your team. You will actually, you will actually, you know, you, you will actually unlock uh, unlock a special combo skill. But other than than that, uh, everything else is kind of kind of guesswork. Because they never tell you in the game. Oh shit. What? I'm just gonna just gonna press. Ooh, you're gonna attack us? Okay. Your funeral. Bye bye. All of this left is that one archer girl. Just one archer girl left. And I have to get to her. Best. There we go. Ah, uh, darn. Whatever. I don't know if Kotaro is actually at the name of one of the developers. Uh, there's no indication that it is. It is such a generic name. You know how many Kotaros uh, there are in the game industry? I can tell you, that's a, there, there's actually plenty. Oh, I found out where the crimson came from. It's because one time the trees all turned dark red. Mystery solved! Well, now I have another fun fact to share with everyone. Hey, you should tell everyone you should know about it. Ooh. I mean, Gastal isn't the one that killed the world, the world leader, but he's the greatest warrior ever. 
I've seen him kill a dozen traders with a single swipe, and I heard he cut a mountain in half. So, but those bandits are pretty, pretty weird. Sometimes it seems like Sir Crystal is the one giving uh, giving orders to Lord Dio. And that's because he's Lord of the Conqueror. By the way, I wonder what Kristoff has to say about uh, about Levin. I'm just curious. I never actually checked before. Let's find out now. Let's go to town. Let's see, Kristoff, Kristoff. What? Uh, I'm so much curious about the cool village. Anyone want to try some? Anyone? Never heard of it. Let me try it. Hmm, it's good. Real good. Where's it from again? Muku Village, ma'am. Muku Muku Village. Muku Village? Never heard of it. But normally, I want to know where I'm by from. Huh? Where I buy from? Trust is everything. These are so good. I don't care. Give me a whole bag. Thank you. Aw, oh, that's nice. Christoph Butler. Oh, I heard about you. You're the chap that defeated all three world leaders. Who would have imagined? As Kristoff came out of his slumber when he heard of his success, uh, success as well. His overhaul is consistently smooth. What? Levin? No, it must be a mistake. We'll send our own men to confirm what you say. You mean... Uh, Otali? <laughs> money, money, money. A special Olympic device I found in Zazana has become really popular with ladies. Oh, you want one too? Sorry, I don't sell the late miners. Oh, hi. I think I can think of what that is. Say, are you a picky eater? I wonder if the world eater is picky. Right, catfish is my personal favorite. Hmm, everything's going pretty well. I shouldn't have been so worried. In fact, I'm getting even more business. I, sh I should just get a staff of only Nerys. Then, that might be a little too easy. Okay, there's nothing now. So, yeah, not much to actually say about that. They had nothing to say about... Um... Ooh. Goodbye, goodbye and farewells, my friends. Oh, he's left the squad. Now he'll come back eventually. Until then, let's take a look. I still need to actually see what will be happening. Ooh. Let's see. Oh. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> Nothing else. I actually use all of these. I only use like a few. I, uh, a few that I actually care about uh, using. For example, this Death Gladiatorium, death, uh, which is Death Charge. Uh, eventually, I will actually. Not this. Where is it? This. Should we try? No. Not any matter. No. Oh, that explains why why those uh, those units can't move. Because they can't move. <laughs> uh, never move, I mean. Ah, there it is. It is a spare. Alright, I bu buy this because uh, eventually I'll actually get, get too powerful that no matter what I do, I will be actually, you know. Uh, no matter what, what I do, I won't actually be able to be hurt by the enemy. So, it's better than. Excuse me, it is better to just. Just, you know. Sins of sins, and then just one hunter. Actually, no, you know what? This one never happened. Enemies are open. See what else? Okay, you want to take this? You guys, I'm gonna equip it with. Um, I'm gonna equip you guys with last charge, flexible form, and graceful form. Kind of standard, really. What's this? Oh, desert and barrel Okay, that's cool. That's good. Um, speed and action. Same thing for this. I'm gonna equip the. I'm gonna equip the front and middle row. Okay. Wait, I almost forgot. Oh, that was close. 
Agrippa. You are in charge now. I have no idea what it will ask you if it will be female, so let's just do this and this. And then, uh, if you need a human, there, we all are humans. There we go. Wait. Oh, there are males. Cool. Alright, let's save. And I just realized that we actually ran out of time. Damn, damn it! I forgot! Ah, two battles! We were already two battles, and I didn't check the reco recording time. My bad. Sorry, yeah, yeah, I actually made you. I could have done that this off camera. Ugh. Sorry about that. Well, you know, uh, you know what is going to actually happen in the next episode. We will actually beat up Dio next time. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry about that. <laughs> I didn't actually. I was paying attention. I forgot. Uh, but you. If you like this video, press that like button and subscribe if you haven't so you know when the next video will actually occur. Uh, appear, not occur. In the comments, write what you think about Dio's philosophy? Yeah. Write what you what you know about the Dio's philosophy. Next time, we will beat the crap out of Dio. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!